Good morning, everyone. This is Brad with Yoga Pod Fort Collins, and we're going to have ourselves an Ashtanga practice here in a couple of minutes as we get ready to roll. Um, I wanted to just give a little bit of a preview. We're, um, today I thought we, what we could do is we would do like a half primary, half um, um, intermediate series mix. We won't get all of it in in the 75 minutes, so we'll um, be taking here and there. Um, out um, and it won't be necessarily the full first half of the second series or the full first half of the primary series just because of the time constraints. Um, that said, you might be you might find it um, if you've never practiced the second series before. You might find it interesting, and you might also find that you're able to do more than you than you anticipated. Um, the first half of the second series, by and large, is a um, um, some very standard back strengthening postures, and then leading into a camel pose. Um, and then maybe we'll work on some stuff on the wall in order to use, um, the, in order to work on, on our camel posture. So if you have a wall handy, um, you can place it at the front of the mat. Just kidding. If you have a wall handy, um, maybe you, you have a, um, a, a way of getting there quickly. Um, the other thing is, is you might need those uh, two blocks just, um, just in general. Um, make sure you're mindful of how you use them and then also um, mindful of when you actually need them or when you that they're useful for learning and becoming more, you know, intelligent in how our body starts to process. And so um, I'll just give it a couple of more moments to make sure that everybody can get um, online when, they, when uh, the, as you need to. So for everybody that's ready, go ahead and close your eyes, come to seated posture, close your eyes, and then find length in the spine. If somebody has their device handy and they can make sure that I, I can that you can hear me, that great. Um, that would be great. And as you see, as you see, that start to really entertain the breath. today about really making that breath a little bit more audible. I'm going to try to breathe a little bit more loudly. I know that I usually get the breath sounds going in the, the, the practice and part of the reason that reason why that is because I want you to breathe as well. And over the years I've just really trained myself to have that audible Ujjayi breathing. It helps to heat the body up but also helps to kind of situate the, um, the mind into the practice or allows the practice to um, kind of unfold in a very, very rhythmic way. So the ears moving back a little bit. More breaths here. Start with our invocation. We call and response beginning and ending with an O. Deep breath. Bande Kudu Nam Cha Danada Binde. Sandar Shita Spatma Sukha Babode 
Nishreyase Jangalikaya Mane Samsara Hala Hala Moha Shantiae Abahu Purushakaram Chan Kachikara Sidarinam Sahasra Shir Sam Shvetam Pranamami Patanjalim Namaskari, arms up, face them. And then exhale into the bay. We inhale, Trini, lift chin from chest. And then exhale, Chakwadi, low push up pose, Chaturanga Dandasana. We inhale in Pancha, lift the heart. And exhaling, hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. Really activate the breath. One more. And step your foot to the front, inhaling Sapta, lift chin from chest. Exhaling Ashta, fold. Inhale, coming up. Namastiti. Ekam, inhale, arms up. Exhale, Dve, fold. Inhale, Trini, lift your chest. And then exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, low push up pose. Inhaling, Pancha, lift the heart. And shot. Exhale, hips towards the sky. One. Two. Three. Four. Finish your exhale first. Bend the knees, look forward, float or step to the front. Inhaling, Sapta, lift chin from chest. Exhaling, Ashta, fold. Nava, inhale, come up. And exhale, arms to the side, Samastihiti. Ekam, inhale, reach to the sky. Dave, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, lift chin from chest, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, Pancha, inhale, up dog, shot, exhale, down dog, one, two, Three, four, press the breath, and five forward, inhaling, Sapta lift chin, Ashta exhale, fold, Nava inhale, come up, and exhale, Samastihiti. Ekam, inhale. Dve, exhale. Trini, inhale, lift chin. Chakwadi, exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Pancha, inhale. Shot, exhale. 
one. Two. Three. Four, one more. Finish the exhale. Hang it for it, step or float. Inhaling, Sapta lift chin from chest. Ashta, exhale, fold. Nava up, inhale. Sadastiviti, exhale. Take them. Inhale, arms up. Dvay, exhale, fold. Tree, inhale, lift chin and chest. Exhale, chakwadi, low push up. Inhaling, up dog. And then exhaling, down dog. One. Two. Three. Four. Finish the exhale, look forward, knee to the front. Inhale, sapta. Ashta, exhale. Nava up, inhale. Sadastivitihi, exhale. Ekam, inhaling. Dve, exhaling. Trini, inhale, lift chest. Exhale, Chakwadi, low push up. Pancha, inhale. And shot. Exhale, hips to the sky. One. And two. Three. Four, one more inhale. Finish out the exhale. Knee forward step. Inhaling, sapta, lift chest. Exhale, ashta, fold. Nava up. Sadastivitihi. Last one. Ekamandva. Dve, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, inner thighs back. Exhale, chakwadi, low push up. Pancha, up dog. And then shot, exhale, down dog. One. Two. Three. Four. Finish the exhale. And five. Inhaling, sapta. Exhale, ashta, fold. Inhale, rise up. And so, as you to hear, Surya Namaskar, be Utkatasana. Set deep. Utkatasana. Arms up, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, legs straighten. Inhale, lift chin. Exhale, chaturanga. Pancha, up dog. Chat. Exhale to down dog. Right leg forward. Sapta, inhale. Coming up, reach to the sky. Ashta, exhale. Chaturanga, dandasana. Nava, inhale. Dasha, exhale. Left foot forward. Inhale, Hakarasha. Rise up. And exhale, Bhavada Shak, low push up. Inhale, Prayurasha. And exhale, Hipsa Chaturasha. The one. And two. Three. Four. 
finish the exhale. Another five. Forward. Inhale. Panchada Sha. Exhale. Shoulder Sha. Uttapasana Sapada Sha. Inhale. Arms up. So I'll stay here. Ekam. Inhale. Utkatasana. Delay. Exhale. Hands down. Uttanasana. Inhale. Urdhva Uttanasana. Exhale. Adho Mukha. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Up dog. Exhale. Hips to sky. Right foot forward. Inhale. Virabhadasana. One. Exhale. Chaturanga. Dandasana. Up dog. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Left foot forward. Inhale. Dakarasha. Reaching. And Dwarasha. Chaturanga. Inhale. Trayurasha. Exhale. Chaturasha. Hips high. Adamukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Get really draw the hands into the floor. Super easy to start to um, collapse into the chest and the wrist. Push into the floor with your hands. Press back through your heels. Lift up through your toes. Three. Four. Press the breath. Squeeze through the perineum. Look forward. Float forward or step. Inhaling. Pancha the shot. Exhale. Shoulder shot. Utkatasana Sapparasha, inhale, arms up. Samastiti. Inhale, Utkatasana. And exhale, delay, fold. Inhale, Urdva. Lift your chin and chest. Exhale, Chaturanga. Landing with bent elbows to up dog. And down dog. Warrior one. Right foot forward, arms up. Inhale. Exhale, hands down, chaturanga, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale, left foot forward, inhale, rise up, ekadasha, and then exhale, baladasha, low push up, inhale, trayodasha, exhale, chaturasha, hips to the sky, one, Three. Four. And five. Front of the mat. Inhaling. Panchita Sha. Pull the heart through. Exhale. Shoulder Sha. Bend the elbows deep. Utkatasana. Sapada Sha. Arms up. Samastihitihi. Again, Ekam, inhale, Utkatasana. Delay, exhale, Utkanasana. Three knee inhale, Urdva Utanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdva Mukashvanasana. Down dog, exhale, Adha Mukashvanasana. Right foot forward, Virabhadrasana. One. Exhale. Hands down, Ashtal Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, hips high, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Left foot forward. Inhale, arms up, Virabhadrasana. Exhale, hands down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog, inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Down dog, exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. One. Two, three, four, finish the exhale, and five forward, front of the mat, inhale, Urdhva Uttanasana, exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, inhale, rise up to the top, and then exhale, arms to the side. Last one, Ekam, inhale, Utkatasana, delay, exhale, hold, 
train you inhale exhale chakwada chaturanga dandasana up dog down dog right foot forward warrior one sapta inhale ashtau exhale Nava, up dog, Dasha, down dog, left foot forward, inhale, Hakadasha, and exhale, Dwadasha, inhale, Trayudasha, exhale, Chaturudasha, one. Five, turn to the mat. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, arms up. And samastahiti. Hands to the waist, feet apart. Inhale, and then fold forward as you exhale. Squeeze the pubic bone towards your lower back a little bit so you can really feel your core. Lift the heart forward. Pull on the big toes. Exhale, fold deep. And so we want to continue to maintain the integrity of the legs here. We also want to feel pubic bone pull back towards the sacrum. Uh, feel that action drawing back. That'll help hollow through the abdomen a little bit and allow you to lengthen. Elbows can come back a little bit if that's useful for you. Four, five. Inhale, train your lift, chin from chest. Hold there as you exhale, bring your hands underneath your feet. Inhale the heart forward again and exhale pull. Elbows traditionally out but elbows can come back for the stretch in the wrists. Two, three, strengthen the legs. Four, five. Inhale chin you lift chin from chest. Exhale the hands to the waist. Inhale come up. Exhale the feet together, Samastihitihi. Uttita Trikonasana, step the right foot back, rotate both feet. As you exhale, Dve, squeeze in. So coil, tailbone down, hug in. And then from that hugged in position, elongate. So the pubic bone pulls back towards your sacrum, but your tailbone reaches. That action engages the core and the belly. So we're strong here. And then as we work into the posture, we want to find extension in the back as we look up towards the sky. Three, four, and then five. Inhale, come up, rotate your feet. As you exhale, push into the floor, reaching out. So coil the tailbone in. It's an exhale pattern, so it should feel almost like you got punched in the gut. And then from that punched position, inhale, lift it up. Sometimes a punched position is not a good pose. Sometimes it is a good pose. So in yoga, it can be really useful. Outside of yoga, not so. Four. And then five. Inhale, coming up. Left arm's up long and lifted. As you exhale, extend left arm long. Bring it to the, the palm to the floor, the inside or the outside. But try to bring the palm down. Unless you have a brick, you can bring it to the inside. Two. Pubic bone hugs back, lift the spine. Three, four, and then five. Look down, inhale. Coming up, right arm's lifted. And again, as you exhale, extend, hand to the outside. Inside also works. Push up, tailbone curled in a little bit. Pubic bone pulled towards sacrum. And then elongate. Three, four, and then five. Look down, inhale, come up, deep breath. Samastihitihi. Uttita a really wide step this time. Ekam, rotate the feet. Dve, palm down. Fingers will work. Push. The so same thing here. It's easy to let your butt stick back behind you to pull your pubic bone back towards your sacrum. Similar action. Hug in, squeeze. And then from there, extend. As you find strength in the legs and in the core, then maybe you pull the thumb further back. And then five, on the inhale, come up. As you exhale, feel that part of the body 
pull in, squeeze in, left hand down, hug in. Then from that position, hug the tail, reach the body long. Two, three, four, and five. Inhale, coming up, pancha. So different variation. This time I'm gonna come up off of my heel here so that I can come up onto the toes. And then reaching out, take your left hand and elbow, shoulder, everything to the outside. So not just the elbow, shoulder as well. Hands can come to prayer pose, but what we're working is pulling our rib cage through the line of the thigh there. So the left hand will come down. Two, charge your back leg. Three, four, and then five. You inhale, coming up. Turn towards the other side, up on your back toes if it's appropriate. As you exhale, extending shoulder, elbow, ribs are up across the top of the front thigh, hand down. Hands can come to that prayer position. So we want to make sure that we're not necessarily looking to strengthen the core by lifting up, but instead tailbone down, belly button towards sacrum as you twist open. Three, four. And then five, look down, inhale, coming up, samastihitihi, as you exhale. And then from here, let's go ahead and take um, Prasarita Padapanasana. You'll step back with the right foot. I'm going to step out a little bit and risk slipping. So my hands are at the waist, inhale, lift the heart, exhale, folding. And from here, palms down, lift your heart. So you can stay with that, that action here, using the hands and the feet to push into the floor. At the same time, inner thighs squeeze in and then walk the hands back to the point where the heel of the hands want to come up. Push into the mat, lots of arm strength, and then the head down towards the floor. Push into the floor, lift the groin up, lift the inner thighs up, push down, four, five. Inhale, Trini, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, hands to the waist. Inhale, come up, deep breath. Exhale, hold. Inhale, lift the heart up, draw the inner thighs back, but really root the tail. Exhale, pubic bone back towards sacrum. And then here, it's easy to get into the posture and let the elbows rotate forward. We want the elbows back, we want the inner thighs drawn back. And then pubic bone to gently towards the sacrum, head down. One, two, three, four, and then five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, tailbone anchors. Take your arms nice and wide. Interlace the fingers behind you, squeezing shoulder blades back initially. And then as you exhale, that squeezing of the shoulder blades back will eventually release you forward. And they'll spread out a little bit as the wrists move towards the floor. Biceps rotate in. One way to make sure that you're not Hyperextending your elbows is to bend them, all right? So bend them a little bit and pull them towards the floor. Rotate the shoulders through. Bend the elbows slightly and pull over four. And then five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, anchor the tailbone. Inhale, lift the heart to the sky. Lean back a little bit. Exhale, fold. Hands to the big toes this time. Grab the big toes, peace sign fingers and thumbs. It's like you have a fist with your big toe in the middle of it. Inhale, lift the heart. As you fold, head down. Look curiosity off the on the face. Look off the tip of the nose towards the sky. Two, three, four, and then five. Inhale, come up, lift your heart. Exhale, hands to the waist, peel the elbows back, come up, inhale, and exhale, step to the front, samastihitihi. Parshapanasana, take it slow. Arms come out, drop your thumbs, bring fists together behind you, opposite elbows, if you have any sort of shoulder issues, eventually palms together behind the back of the heart. Then take the right foot, step back, just a shorter step, rotate on the heels so you're facing the back of the mat. Pull the left hip around a little bit, inhale, hug the left rib cage in as you fold forward. Chin towards the shin, if that's hard on the neck, you can drop your head down. 
Eventually, Chen De Shen and Monet Blanc. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, coming up. Rotate. Exhale. Extra breath here. Inhale, lift the heart up, the back of the heart expand. Exhale, fold. Chin towards your front chin. Push the big toe monk knuckle in. So try not to have a collapse back of the neck. Lengthen the neck and draw in. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, come up. Exhale to the front. Samasti hip to here. And then from here, Uddhidasa, Parangustasa, hands to your waist, and then lift up the right leg. You can just take the front to the knee, and then from here, hug in. Knee doesn't stay flat like some postures. Instead, pull that knee up so you can feel the compression, the activation of the core, especially left rib cage wraps around. Three, four, and then five. Stand up straight, open up the hip to the side. As you do, it's easy to let the hip lift up and the inner thigh kind of rotate the quadricep rotate forward drop the tailbone pull the pubic bone back lift the heart up three four five inhale bring it forward exhale lift and straighten inhale stand up no hands one two three four and then five release the right foot down to the floor make it strong reach down for your left big toe or the front of the knee inhale pattern breath Exhale, hug in. And so again, making sure that that knee isn't just at the 90 degrees that you might do in a hot class or various um, vinyasas, but squeeze in, feel the core pubic bone back towards the sacrum, squeeze in. In five, on the inhale, stand up straight. As you exhale, open, push from your left inner thigh as you drop your hip down, two, three, four, and then five, then release the foot down to the, oh, sorry, inhale, bring it forward, exhale, extend the leg, stand up, one, everybody tries to skip this pose, myself included, three, four, and then five, releasing, wiggle, 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 all right, so the next posture is basically the same, but we add a little forward fold, a couple of different nuances, so take the right leg up, just like before, open it up to the side, just like before, now take your heel, up to the hip crease and so we basically got from here and we just pull the heel up to the hip crease if this is comfortable for you right arm up reach back for your wrists and then maybe towards your toes stay here if you have any sort of knee pain stay here for sure if you're looking for more hip opening in order to soften the tension in the knee then take that flamingo pose variation so flex the toes back towards your shin at this point and then palms together or elbow down onto the knee. Now pick the knee up into the elbow. One. If you're in your forward fold, try to bring your right knee towards your shoulder a little bit. Four. And then five, inhale, look up, exhale, secure the foot. Inhale, come up. And exhale, release, right foot down. Then this time, left leg comes up, open it, just like before, heel pulls up towards your hip crease. Stay here or move into the full pose. Reach your left hand back towards your wrist or your toes. And then from there, take your variation. If you're working the flamingo, flex your toes back, elbow to knee. Push your knee into your elbow at the same time. See if you can open up the outside of the left hip. Two, three, four, Five, inhale, look up, exhale, inhale, come up, and then exhale, release. Front of the mat, arms out the acum. And then Dave, palms down. Trini, lift your heart, and then exhale, chop body, low push up. Pancha, inhale, chop, exhale, hips to the sky. Look forward, front of the mat, Utkatasana. Weight to the heels, arms up. One. Two. Three. Four. And then five hands down. 
handstand, or you can take a, um, a, a pro pose, bend the knees, squeeze your shoulders, so knees to the outsides of the shoulders, lift your chin, lean forward, pull it back, one, two, try to pull your pubic bone up into the back of the body, so squeeze it back, hug it back towards the diaphragm, four, and then five, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, right leg forward for warrior one, left foot flat, arms up, inhale, reach to the sky, left rib cage hugs inward, one, two, three, four, and then five, up on inhale, rotate, as you exhale, warrior one, reach to the sky, one, two, three, four, and then five, warrior two, open, one, two, three, four, five, up on inhale, rotate your feet, exhale, second one, second side, reaching, one, two, three, four, five, arms up, inhale, hands down, step back, chaturanga, low push up, up dog, and down dog, hips to the sky, dandasana, staff posture, float forward, step down, legs out, so dandasana, staff pose, it's basically samastihitihi from seated, so hug in, lift the chest, strengthen the legs, one, two, three, four, five, inhale, lift your chin, exhale, big toes, inhale, expand the heart, exhale, squeeze in, so elbows can come down a little bit if it's useful, make sure these things are useful, try not to get stuck in one pattern of behavior, that's what often gets us in trouble in the first place, when we real one we rely on one action. So we want to find the balance between the two where we're providing our body with the most benefit. And then five, inhale, lift the chin. Exhale, reach around the outside. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale. It's easy to collapse forward. That's a natural state for us in our culture. So pull pubic bone towards the sacrum, tailbone down. Let's any elongate the spine forward. And try not to collapse in. Four, and then five. Inhale, lift your heart up, and then reach on the outside. Interlace your fingers. Inhale the heart forward. Exhale and fold. Part C. Lengthen. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, lift your chin forward, and exhale, release. Parvottanasa, bring your hands back behind you. Press your heels into the floor. Lift up onto your toes. One, two, three, four, and then five. Release. Cross your ankles. Plant your hands. Find your vinyasa. Shift weight forward. Lift up. Exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Ardha Bada Padmottanasana. Ardha Bada Padma Pashimottanasana. Seated. Look forward. Float or step forward, and sit down, legs out in front, and take right knee up towards your armpit, open up to the side, lengthen underneath, so it's just like that same posture where we rotate the hip open, and then feel the heel come up towards the inner thigh, towards the hip crease, lengthen the toes, and then as you do, hip moves back into arrangement. So the hip moves back a little bit to situate, externally rotate the thigh, heel up to the hip crease. If that's a lot for you, I'll show a modification in a moment. But the knee is going to kind of come up a little bit as we press it down. It sounds strange, right? So reach back, find the toes if they're available to you. There we are. And then pull forward. There's a hug up and a press down. Find both of them and you win the prize. So the variation is the 
more of that same flamingo pose action, pose flex back, and then we feel a similar squeeze in, and then maybe use your elbow or the side of your hand, and you push up into it as you release forward, four, and then five is a long one there. Go ahead and lift up, inhale, exhale to Chaturanga Dandasa, low push-up pose, inhaling, take your up dog, and then your down dog, pressing the breath out, look forward, fold forward, and sit down. This time the left heel comes in, open it up to the side, so the hip might move back, and then take the hip forward in order to bring the foot up. If it comes up to the hip crease, cool. If not, then keeping it flex back here, and then bending your front leg. That'll help to facilitate it. So your choice if you bind, make sure you feel that nice twist, hip moves back. As you exhale, squeeze it back across from the hip crease. The shin bone rotates down, and once you're in the pose, lifting the knee up just a little bit, even as you use your outer hip muscles to pull down. So both actions are possible at the same time. And then five, on your inhale, look up, hold that there for a second. As you exhale, go ahead and release, cross your shin, hug in, lean forward, lift up, chaturanga. Up dog and then a down dog. And then from there, float forward, sit down. You can use your bricks here. Kind of a pleasant action until you look forward and then you step forward and forward. I'm sorry, so we're gonna take our left leg forward only, right heel back. So left leg forward, heel right beside us. If you need to, you can sit on a brick with your with your left cheek, right? And then inhale, reaching forward for your front foot. And then exhale, fold in. One. Two, three, four, and then five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, squeeze, lift the leg. Step back or float back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog. Inhale, down dog. Exhale. And then right leg forward. Left foot, heel back beside you. And then again, just so I demonstrate on one side, I'll demonstrate on this side. So building up that equality. Inhale, lift the heart, and then exhale, folding. One. Two. Kind of to collapse in, and so to lift the heart forward. Four. Five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hold, lift the leg. Step back or float back. Chaturanga. This time, Janu Shashasana. So lift the heart to the sky. Exhale, lift the hips. And then if you're ready, look forward. Float your legs through, step down. Leg out in front. And take right heel, draw it back. Open the leg, top of the foot on the floor if you're able to work it. So the big toe knuckle on the floor, opening up the foot. We've done that action several times. We want to make sure to cultivate it. The knee, externally rotate the thigh, but draw the inner thigh forward and down. Reaching, inhale, heart forward, and exhale, fold. So these internal and external rotations that we find in the body suit, suit a lot of us, many of us, but we want to make sure that as we cultivate our practice, what we're doing is that we're starting to figure out how our body works. So for some people, it's a lot of internal rotation. For other people, it's not as much internal rotation. Sometimes the external rotation becomes the primary. Four, and then five. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. And then take your vinyasa. Cross your ankles, plant your hands. And bringing your, your feet, your hands right in front of your feet. Lift up. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog, and then again find your your seat. Float forward, sit down. Legs out front, left knee in. Try not to pull the hip back too much in this situation. And so keep the hips organized. Left outer hip rotates back, but then we want the inner thigh and pubic bone to drop. Reach for it for your front foot. One, two. Pubic bone towards your sacrum, even towards the diaphragm but lift and extend the heart forward. Four, and five, inhale, come up. Exhale, right heel is back, hug in. Inhale, lift up, maybe your toes are on the floor. Exhale, chaturanga. 
up dog and down dog and let's go to Mary Chiasana A just because of time look forward float forward and sit down take your right heel up towards your armpit and then open it up to the side right arm up reach forward find your thumb drop it down reach back find your other hand you can interlace the fingers but try to bring both palms facing back inhale and then exhale squeeze forward take the right rib cage through and then roll the collarbones back it's not about bowing in extend forward three drop the, the pubic bone back a little bit tailbone down four and then five inhale look up and exhale release vinyasa lifting up inhale exhale chaturanga dandasana up dog and down dog seated legs out in front left knee bends draw just to the outside of the shoulder we want it to be wide just wide enough left arm reaches up cast it forward drop your thumb reach back find your other hand inhale lift the heart forward and exhale squeeze so this front foot you push forward and flex back whatever activates appropriately lean it forward left hip off the floor your pubic bone hugs back towards your sacrum tailbone drawn long let's keep leaning forward four and five inhale come up exhale hug in squeeze inhale lift up exhale chaturanga up dog down dog mary chiasana b float forward set down and from here, left heel up to the hip crease if it's available to you, or left heel towards your sitting bone. And then right knee draws back. Reach right arm up, drop your thumb, reach back to bind. So variation of this posture is super tough for you. You can take your left heel and bring it up into that same kind of flamingo action pose and then bending the right knee and then just settle it forward. Three, four and then five inhale look up and exhale release vinyasa lift up exhale chaturanga up dog down dog and then float through set down and then right heel in front of the sitting bone you can do the full bind heel all the way up to the hip crease Bending the knee, right knee down, right? So you can do that action. You can take the flamingo pose action as you'd like. Lots of actions. One, two, three, four, and then five. Inhale, releasing. You can keep your legs straight, lift up, exhale. So thinking about creating a little, a little bit of variety Make sure it's intentional though. It's super easy to create variety just by not paying attention to what you're doing. So float forward, set down, legs forward. All right, and then part here, part um, C, take your right knee towards your armpit. So we're hugged in, take your left right hand back behind you, pull the knee across the midline just a little bit so the rib cage starts to release in. Take your tailbone forward a little bit, pubic bone towards your sacrum, left arm up, reach forward. So we wanna pull our rib cage across, we tuck in, but then we reach way out in front, drop your thumb, reach back for your bind. Elbow can come out in front of the shin as well, hand towards your hip. This left shoulder rotates forward and down a little bit, and then the right shoulder rotates back and around. Three, pull the rib cage, abdomen across the thigh, lots of compression, four, and then five, inhale, look forward, exhale, release, cross your ankles when you're ready or straight leg, lift up, inhale, and then exhale, chaturanga, dandasana, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale, seated, left heels drawn back, Right arm comes up. As you do, pubic bone back towards sacrum, so the tail tucks in. As you drop your thumb, reach way out in front, hand towards your hip. Easy to twist the hip back a little bit too much, so 
drop the sitting bones down towards the floor as you twist one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. Find your vinyasa. Lift up. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Up dog urdhva. And then down dog, hips to the sky. And then float through, sit down, Mary Chiasa. Actually, let's do Ardha Matsi and Rasana. So, second series twist. Look forward. Set down. Leg down front. We're take our left heel towards the outside of our right sitting bone. And then this time, instead of bringing your ankle straight in front, reach it across. If you know Mary Chiasa D or variation that's appropriate for you, do that. You can hug the knee in. Same action here. This hug can be pretty nice. So I don't think I have an anywhere in my you know, genetical contortion discs. And so over the years I've realized how stiff my spine is. So I'm pretty careful with it and I don't have expectations um, that are any deeper than the day allows for it. Take the elbow forward and twist. Hand can stay here, hand to hip. Sometimes it's nice to give it a little, little squeeze, stay on there for you buddy. And then you can slide the hand forward towards your knee or grab for your big toe. Four, and five, look forward, inhale, exhale, release. Take a vinyasa, or if you're feeling saucy, hands out, roll it all the way around. Keep it low, and then from here, right arm comes up, exhale, hand towards your hip, reach forward, find your shin. One, two, three, Five. Inhale, look forward. Keep it low. Maybe your arms don't even touch all the way around. And then a vinyasa. Cross your ankles, plant your hands, lift up. Exhale, low push up pose, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, hips to the sky. Float forward, set down. And then come into Navasana, boat pose. Legs up. One. Two, three, four, and then five. Cross your ankles, lift up, inhale, exhale, legs up. One, two, three, four, five. Cross your ankles, pull the knees in, inhale, lift up, exhale, inhale, legs up. One, two, three, Four, five, cross the other way, lean forward, lift up, and then legs up. One, pull your pubic bone towards your sacrum. Two, three, four, and then five, cross, lean forward, lift up, exhale, legs up, inhale. Last one, one, two, three, four, and then five, keep squeezing in. Lean forward, lift up, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. And then from here, working into some of those back strengthening postures. So let's inhale, come forward into plank pose, and then exhale, chaturanga dandasana, and then lower all the way down. Bring your hands back, so this is cobra posture, not cobra, locust pose, so hands bringing tops of the hands on the floor beside you, fingers touching, and then lift the legs, lift the torso. One, two, three, four, and then five without releasing the legs, hands in, elbows back. One, two, three, four. At the end of this exhale, chaturanga, squeeze. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. In fact, asana, come forward, inhale, and then exhale, release down. And then come up onto your elbows. I feel like this posture is best served one leg at a time and then an upright.